Hi there. This is week two of the MTI 562, the Tech Infused Teacher. I'm just going to go over the um, projects or the activities for this week. So I'll go under the class schedule. Anything else you need, go back to this week and just review that introductory video that is here. It gives you a lot of basic ideas on how to use this wiki as the classroom for, for our activities. This is the playlist where all of the videos you'll be watching are. And, and this is last week's week one. If you're working a little behind, here's where you'd be for week one. We'll be down here under week two, which I haven't added yet, but I will as soon as I finish this video. So we'll go back to class schedule. Here's week two. Tech problem solving is our idea for this week. So you're going to review the problem solving activity material. So let's go look at the activities and go to problem solving. And that will be down here. And probably one to two articles. What did we say there? Week two. Two articles, one ebook. One, okay, so you're going to re pick two of these articles, pick the ones that fit your needs in your classroom that you think will be helpful to you, and then one of the, the ebook on 98 tech tips in your classroom, these are the commonest ones you'll face in your classroom, so review them. It's more of a resource file for you. But be prepared to be, at least be familiar. So if they show up in your classroom or in your work here in our, in our class, you can refer back to this and look at them. Then look at this lesson plan. There are three presentation boards, but I only want you to look at the one that deals with problem solving. So it's, not, it's only a couple pages here. These are the digital tools you'll be dealing with. And then the three videos, you'll pick one of those to watch. And You'll just go back to our video stream and pick one of 2021 or 22 to do those. And let's see, Twitter. I want as you're reading these materials, use Twitter as a back channel device and use our class hashtag, which is MTI563. Use that to share your thoughts with your classmates as you're reading through the material. Just random thoughts, 140 characters, and just one or two. You can put as many as you want, and you might get in a discussion with someone else on one of the activities, one of the lesson plans or articles being read. But use the hashtag MTI562, a very general hashtag for this sort of thing. We won't make it specific. Then um, go to your blog, which you created last week, and blog about a problem you had in your classroom as a teacher, a, a tech problem, and discuss what it was and how you went about solving it. So you might, it might be you had to turn to the IT folks in your school for help. That's fine. Um, it might be that you thought of a solution and you solved it yourself. What we want you to do is be problem solvers. You want to consider your wealth of knowledge and decide is any of this applicable to the situation I'm in and try to solve it that way. But it won't always be. You will have to call people at sometimes, just like your students. But first, you'll want to try what you know. So go through that. And then look at some of the problems your classmates faced and relate them to your experiences. You've had the same problem, and this was a solution you found, or whatever works. Update your activities on the our Google spreadsheet, where you're logging in all of, of the work you did. Your project is to try three online tools from, from that list that we had over here. Try three of them. So we had three there. So try all three of those. A Windows, Windows snipping tool is part of Windows. Jing is a free download. And Screencast-O-Matic is also a free download. It's the one I use to create these videos. I, I upgrade it for $15 a year so that it doesn't add its logo to it. And I can save more on their online server. But you can do it for free with no one cares if the logo's in the corner. So try those online tools and then, or tell me you want to try one of your own. Maybe there's one you've always wanted to try that deals with problem solving. I'm perfectly fine. I'll probably approve it, but run it by me first, just in case it's something that I can't see the connection to problem solving. And then complete one project with that. 
and upload it to your digital portfolio. So if you're doing a screencast using Screencast-O-Matic, when you're done with it, embed it in your class page, in your digital portfolio. Just as I do these here under Skills, I embed the this one. And you might just do screen screenshots like this is. This is just screenshots that are annotated. A lot of programs let you annotate. Uh, Jing does and Ning. Nimbus does on a, 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 a download that goes with your web, your, your browser. But if we scroll down here, there's a screencast on embedding using the Google Hangouts, Google Citations, putting Padlet as a back channel device on your class internet start page. Anyway, there's there's a bunch there. So that'll give you ideas if you if you want to do that approach to it. That might be it. Let me see. Complete a project. Yeah, I think we're done. And then we're doing a tweet up this time. So if I go to here's our seven questions for the tweet up this week. You'll go to MTI 562, hashtag MTI 562 week two. That way we could just do MTI 562. I might decide that's a better decision, but right now let's differentiate it even further for just week two. So um, we'll use that as our hashtag and then you'll arrive and I will introduce the class and we'll go through these questions one at a time. You'll answer question one with A1. You'll answer question two with A2. And I'll present them the same way to help you be organized about which question we're on because they might not always sound the way they are here. And we'll work our way through probably all seven of these, but if we don't, it's okay. If we get in a really spirited discussion on a couple of them and we don't get through the whole list, it, it's fine. And that's it. All right, guys, any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help you, and um, I'll, I will see you soon. Bye.